Creating presentations in Google Slides can be intimidating. Are you being creative enough? Are you being too creative? Does this font work? Will anyone even read this? Hi, I'm Sharon Hurley Hall, and in this video I'll walk you through 10 easy steps to help you create your own Google Slides presentation quickly and with confidence. Creating a business presentation can be fiddly, so it pays to get a head start. Envato Elements has thousands of well-designed Google Slides presentation templates you can download for one low price. In this tutorial, I'll be using the Hasta Google Slides presentation, one of the thousands of templates you can download and use with one Envato Elements subscription. Along with presentation templates, your subscription also gives you access to fonts, photos, and more. Ready to learn how to make a professional slideshow with Google Slides? Let's get started. The first step is to think about the goal of your business presentation. Find out who your audience is and what they need to know. That will help you focus your slide presentation on what's necessary to achieve your goal. Next, download a professional Google Slides template from Envato Elements. It's a great way to benefit from professional design without being a designer yourself, and there are thousands of business presentation templates to choose from. The next step is to create a new Google Slides presentation using your template. To do that, open Google Drive and click on New, File Upload. Navigate to the folder where you have the Hasta Google Slides presentation. Click on it and press Open to import it into Google Slides. Double click to open it in Google Slides. When creating a business presentation, words help to tell your story and remind you what you want to say. So the next step is to add some text to your presentation. Templates usually include text boxes, so click on one and replace the placeholder text with your own. Keep doing that until you have the text you want in every box. You can also Use the formatting tools in the menu to change the appearance of your text. If you want to take your presentation to the next level, it's helpful to include powerful images. Use Insert, Image, Upload from Computer, and you can select an image from your computer to include in your presentation. Repeat until you have all the images you need. If you don't have a suitable image on your computer, Google Slides includes a built-in search box so you can find an image on the web. Aim for clear, compelling images and don't use too many on any single slide. You already know enough to create a basic presentation from scratch, but if you want to make your presentation truly compelling, I've got a few more tips for you. To make your presentation even more professional and engaging, add audio and video. Use the Google Slides Insert menu to upload an audio soundtrack or an audio file to use as part of your presentation. You can use the same menu to insert a YouTube video. If you're planning to publish your presentation online, you'll want it to play automatically when someone opens it. Google Slides includes a handy autoplay option to help you to do this. Go to the File menu and select Publish to the Web. Click the Start Slideshow as soon as the player loads checkbox. You can also make your presentation replay in a loop by checking the Restart the Slideshow after the last slide checkbox. Once you're done, press the Publish button to make your presentation live on the web. Just because you've used a particular theme for your presentation, it doesn't mean you're locked in. For example, if you're rebranding, you may need to choose another theme that matches your new brand colors. You can easily import a new theme as you did earlier and apply it to your existing presentation. One of the advantages of using Google Slides is that your presentation is automatically saved in the cloud. If you change your mind after editing a presentation, you can also revert to an earlier version as Google Slides saves them all. To do this, click the File, Version History, 
See Version History menu option. You'll see previous versions in a panel on the right called Version History. Click on the version you want, then click Restore this revision. Another advantage of Google Slides is that you can export your presentation in a number of formats, such as Microsoft PowerPoint or PDF. To do this, use the File Download button and you can see all the options you have available. Once you've done all this, you're ready to give your presentation. You already know how to publish the presentation to the web, but if you're planning to deliver it live, then it makes sense to practice till you know your material inside out. In this video, you have learned how to use Google Slides to make a slideshow presentation. You know how to import a template, edit text, images, audio and video, and publish it on the web. Don't forget, you can download as many Google Slides templates as you want from Envato Elements for one low price. Thank you for watching.